Saturday, reading from 1 John chapter 2, you know, verse 12. I write to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you among men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. Do not love the world, the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of fathers is not in him. For all that, that is in the world's sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away. But whoever does the will of God remains forever. I find this interesting because Christmas really is all about the enticements of the world. That's what it is. We see all the glitzy commercials and tell us what we need, what we have to have it. We don't want to be left out. We want to be in. It's all the, uh, all the things that John wants us about, right? The pretentious life in a way. That's really what it is. Get the best clothes, best car. Oh. And yet, we're doing that because we celebrate the birth of a Savior who was just the opposite. So be careful. Don't put your hope, your faith, your joy in things. It's not going to last. Whoever does the will of God remains forever, doing God's will, not the world. If you okay, do you know what you got this past Christmas? Just a week ago, hopefully you do. But how about last year? Things that we thought were so important that we couldn't live without. We got it. We oh, you made my day. It's oh yeah, somewhere buried in the closet maybe. They don't last. Only one thing lasts: your relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't shortchange yourself there. Bless you.